It's all right, that, innit? I don't even know who Cristiano Ronaldo is, to be honest. He sort of announced himself. He announced himself today, didn't he? Most inevitable man in football, that's who he is, Ronaldo. <laughs> you know, when we went down, I thought, yeah, we'll, we'll be fine. And, I, and even, to be fair, like, even when Leeds equalised in the first game of the season, because I felt like this side had that inevitability about it, you know, with Bruno Fernandes. I feel like Paul Pogba's really stepping up. I mean, before we even dive into the Ronaldo stuff and everything, for me, Paul Pogba today, we, we'd be an absolute mess without him because there's no progress from the, progressing the ball from midfield. There's no one playing them passes into the area. Look at one pass that he played into Ambasaka, switches out onto Luke Shaw. Um, just some of the crosses and dinks he tried over the top. And that's all playing from DM, gets two assists in the end. Brilliant finish from Jesse Lingard as well, who, again, like Donny, Jesse Lingard coming on. Two good players, like, and Man United have got a proper squad, and these players will be involved. I think, again, Fuck like, right before, <laughs> before, before, before we move on to, to, to hyping up Ronaldo and everything, just moving across the squad. United. Jesse Lingard as well, like, again, like, he lost James, but he got a good yeah. squad now, so. Right, James, and I miss the old Messi Ballas. We show the city bastards how to fight. How to fight. I think that's the exciting part about around Ronaldo. You know, you got your Pogba, you got your Bruno's. Jaden Sancho, I thought, looked a lot more alive. Um, he was trying to take his man a lot more, looked a lot more confident. Uh, Greenwood was trying to be productive. Not things that really come off for him. Bruno didn't have a great game at all. But then, you know, when you score, when Taylor two Portuguese magnificos, isn't it? Yeah, exactly, man. And they're, they're just, like I said, most inevitable, inevitable men in football, and we've got both of them. Um, and United are going to get back in games, even if they have poor defensive moments like we did today. And that's the key thing in football. I think even under Sir Alex, we had seasons where we were going down. If you look at the last season we had under him. So, yeah, you know what? It doesn't matter. Like, if, if the quality at the back isn't at its best and the midfield isn't top notch yet, building a serious forward line is a major thing in the Premier League because you need that experience. You need players who are going to anticipate situations like Ronaldo did at the end of that half that, you know, put us in a more confident situation going into the second half. So, yeah, I think for me, it's a very good start for United. Some work to be done in that midfield. I mean, you know, a couple of times we got caught, but Pogba ran the show in terms of progressing the ball. I think McTominay and Fred will come in for some of the big games and it seemed to work for Oli. So, yeah, you've just got to take that result. I'm, I'm buzzing with that. I mean, a quick word on the defensive performance. Wamba Sacco. Hey, it's going to be difficult to talk about anything else over Ronaldo right now, but Wamba Sacco looked a little bit iffy today, didn't he? Rafael Varane sort of calmed him down a bit in those, in those situations. Is he going to have an extended run in the team, do you reckon? Or could Diego, da or could Diogo Dallo, <laughs> could he really push him for a place in the start of living? Ronaldo, I think, I think um, I was going to say Ronaldo, I think Diogo Dallo, you know, obviously come out warming up, didn't he, in the first half, and he could push him in that team because, you know, the deliveries have got to be coming into that area. And to be fair to wan the attacking side of things in the second half, he put in a great ball on the ground, which no one was on the end of that, uh, which someone should have been there, you know, whether it was Ronaldo, Bruno, whoever, you know, Jaden Sancho at the back post. But defensively, a couple of times where he just got caught and, um, you know, I thought Varane dealt with... You know, Alan C. Maximum is one of the most difficult players to deal with in the Premier League, in my opinion. When he's running at you and you've only got... A defender by his side, which United do that a lot because they're pressing, and the top teams do that because you're pressing so high up the pitch, you're flooding men forward. Varane dealt with that for the most part really well. And when they scored, he was by himself, and I've seen him, you know, one v one. Varane really good. One Basaka, couple of few moments, but like, like I said, you know, with the low, there's opportunities for him to come in, and I think all he's got to give it. It may be the young boys game where if he makes an appearance there and he gets some crosses in, because it's all about the delivery with having Ronaldo on the box in it. If the delivery is right you're going to score goals, uh, you're going to get goals off Ronaldo. And, and we didn't deliver enough, in my opinion, in terms of those crosses. Mm. So imagine if we up those levels with maybe an attacking right back coming in like Delo. It's just Ronaldo mania, isn't it, around here? There's nothing else to say, is there? Yeah, it's, it's unbelievable. Here we are. Yes, Viva Ronaldo. <laughs> Viva Ronaldo. Happy days. Was it ever going to be anybody else to get us out of a bit of a difficult situation when he equalised? No chance, no chance. Never. He was the man for the job. How happy are you with the fact that he got two? Only a simple tap-in might show what he's going to do for us this season because he might not be the explosive winger to take <laughs> 4,500 people on at the same time. But is that showing what he's going to do for us now? That poacher <coughs> in the 18-yard box? How I see it is another like Berbatov in the box re ready to score the goals every time. Do you know what I mean? So it's happy days. Yeah. It's what my United needed. More goals will come from him. He's averaging scoring a minimum of 20 goals. So happy days, isn't it? That is a starter for the menu. That is a starter for the menu. How many goals is he going to get this season? 25. Averaging at 20, easy, 20 to 25. He'll be top scorer. 
I put him today three hundred pound on him to um, to score first goal. Two to one, I had him, and he scored first goal. Happy. Oh, happy days, eh? Happy days, eh? <laughs> Eight hundred quid for now. <laughs> Can't complain, eh? But um, I will say it was a bit of a scare when he equalised, wasn't it? Yeah. How do you think Aaron Wambasaka performed today? Because he may have been the only sort of iffy. If he player in that team. Wambazaka was at a 70%. He's always at 100, but he was at 70 today. Any more than that, mate, you know we're unbeatable. Hey, Quinn, what do you think differently? <laughs> Happy days. All I can say is Red Army. Happy days. No one's complaining out here, are they? I'm here with, yes, Marcus and Ronnie. You did hear that, right? How good was that then? Uh, it was amazing. Absolutely amazing. The way Ronaldo scores, amazing. <laughs> Echoing him? Yeah, yeah, it was a bit tense, you know, towards the end of the first half. But, you know, just to get that goal in the last minute. Was, really good. <laughs> was it ever going to be anybody else uh, to get us out of a slump I don't there? I think so. I wish I'd put a bet on it. <laughs> I think everyone wished they put a bet on there, didn't they? But yeah. who do you think is the best player on the pitch today? Uh, Ronaldo. Me. Apart from Ronaldo, who do you think? Making it hard for you. If Marcus Rashford was on, definitely Marcus <laughs> Rashford. <laughs> But, uh, uh, Pogba, yeah, Pogba, Pogba why, why was Pogba the best player on the pitch? Yeah. Newcastle's yeah. defence was pretty good. They did alright, it was a bit scary. St Maximum was quite a bit of a difficult player to deal with, wasn't it? But, if it wasn't just about Cristiano Ronaldo, Bruno Fernandes, I mean, what a goal that was. Yeah, yeah. That was amazing right there. <laughs> the, the, everyone went wild. Was it, was it a complete performance for you? You thought what? My thought hurts now. Yeah. From shouting too much, but <laughs> uh, it was a good game. Yeah. yeah. It's all about Ronaldo fever, though, isn't it? Come on. <laughs> yeah. Did you feel? Do you feel different? Yeah, very. Yeah, I think uh, you yeah, know, make a difference. Mm. First time yeah. he didn't swear. He didn't uh, tell off me for swearing. Really? Yeah. <laughs> you got it. Oh, come on. It's only young. He's got to get him. Got to get him done early, don't you?